So I moved to Houston about three months ago and frizz has become a major problem for me. Not only did I move to a more humid environment, which creates a frizzy nightmare, but it's also 100 plus degrees in the summer here daily. And heat and humidity combined is the perfect storm for a crappy frizzy hair day. So I've had to incorporate new products and new routines to fight back against the daily frizz assaults on my hair. And in this video, I'm gonna share some tips and tricks that I've discovered with you and some mistakes to avoid to help keep your hair frizz free. First of all, it's really important to understand what causes frizz so you know how to fight it. Frizz is mainly caused by a breakdown in the hydrogen bonds of your hair. Now, what is a hydrogen bond? Hydrogen bonds hold a weak and temporary shape to your hair. It's held together by a hydrogen and an oxygen atom and it basically when it combines it keeps your hair laying in the same direction and it holds a temporary shape but it breaks apart very very easily. So when your hair is wet a temporary hydrogen bond is formed and when your hair dries a new temporary hydrogen bond forms and these bonds are easily broken by you guessed it water and heat. So when you use like a blow dryer or a curling iron for example it does change that temporary bond and it changes the shape of your hair for as long as those bonds hold up and of course you can add products to help it hold longer. And a really quick important side note, I am not talking about your natural curl pattern. That's held together by a much stronger bond that's not easily broken called a disulfide bond. It takes chemical relaxers or perm salts to break those bonds down and to sort of change your natural curl pattern. And even then it's only temporary, it doesn't last for a long time. But going back to hydrogen bonds and frizz, they are responsible for the temporary styles for your individual hair strands sort of laying flat and smoothly in line with one another without any you know, crazy flyaways. So if you just wash and condition your hair, let it air dry and lay naturally, and then you walk outside into a humid and hot environment, the water in the atmosphere and the heat outside is going to break up those hydrogen bonds, sort of causing your hair to fold over on itself, creating those frizzy flyaways. And it's usually most prominent on the outer layer since that's the closest to the environment. So this is the most common version of frizz that you might be familiar with, and it's also the most annoying. So what can you do to fight this, right? You basically have to use products that seal and lock those hydrogen bonds in place. In other words, you need to add a protective layer over your hair so when you enter into those humid environments, those bonds don't break down. So one product that I've been using recently that I love so much, I was actually able to get them to sponsor today's video, is the new conditioning mist from JVN. I love this product because it's a lightweight mist instead of a heavy cream or an oil, so it doesn't weigh down my fine textured hair. I can't use heavy products because my hair gets flat really easily. This light mist helps to lock in the moisture and keep those bonds intact without building up or creating a greasy film on my scalp. So the main reason for this is because they utilize a relatively new ingredient to hair care. It's called hemisqualane. And typically in the past, silicones have been my go-to for fighting frizz because they're the best at sealing your cuticle and blocking moisture from entering in. But hemisqualane is a great alternative to silicones for several reasons. First, it's biodegradable, so there's no buildup and it breaks down really easily when you rinse it out, which is much better for the environment. Additionally, it helps tame frizz without any of that greasy buildup you might get from a cream or a silicone leave-in. And it performs just as well as a silicone as far as emollients and occlusives go. If you don't remember what an emollient and an occlusive is, an emollient softens and shines your hair, and occlusives coat and seal, meaning less breakage and less dryness. And silicones have been the heavy hitters in the past and I've definitely incorporated silicones into my regimen. But now that there's sort of new innovations and new ingredients that are more environmentally friendly that are starting to appear, I've been sort of gravitating towards those. So other benefits are it's really lightweight and it spreads really easily. So this means you can use less product to get the same results. So your dollar goes farther. And then the best part is that it's for every single hair type, especially for people with curly hair who want to stay silicone free. If you have coarse hair, it's great because you can spray a few extra spritzes. And if you're someone with fine hair like I have, you only need one or two sprays and you can get the benefits. You can use it on wet or dry hair. I typically use it on days that I have dry hair and I have a bunch of frizz sort of ready that needs to be locked in and so I'll spray one to two spritzes sort of reset those hydrogen bonds 
and then brush it gently either with a wide tooth brush or my fingers. And I can instantly see a difference. The flyaways start to disappear, leaves my hair with a soft and shiny look. It also smells really good. And then when I go outside into the heat and humidity, it does a great job protecting my hair, keeping those hydrogen bonds intact. So click the link in the description, pick up the JVN conditioning mist. This stuff's a game changer for sure. It's only 18 bucks. I think that's really affordable compared to other salon quality products. I've seen products go up to like 50 bucks for salon quality. So that's really affordable to me compared to other salon quality products. So I think it's a no brainer, especially if you live in a humid environment. So here are a couple extra tips that I have to sort of just fight frizz in general. And this one is for my guys with wavy, like anywhere from 2A to even coily and curly hair. And that's brush your hair less often. When I lived in Austin, I used to brush my hair twice a day, morning and night. When I moved to Houston, the humidity actually started to bring out my natural waves. I thought I had 2A hair. Now I feel like I'm closer to sort of 2B. And I started to figure this out because every time I would brush my hair, all of a sudden I'd have this huge frizzy mess that I never used to have. And I was like, what? Why do I have so much frizz? This is ridiculous. So I had to start using some curly hair methods like finger detangling or brushing when dry or damp. And now I don't even brush my hair that often at all. I stick to maybe one to two times per week just to help spread some of those natural oils and extend my wash days. But I detangle my hair after I shampoo and condition with my wooden tech brush. If you have wavy or curly hair and you want to brush, then try when it's damp instead of dry. I know common wisdom in the past have said never brush wet hair, but obviously it's dependent on what your hair type is. If you have curly hair, definitely you can get away with brushing when it's damp because there's much less combing force on the curls when it's wet versus when it's dry, which means less breakage. But brushing my hair much less often has helped tremendously in having less frizz. A couple mistakes to avoid is to understand your hair type when picking out frizz fighting products. So for example, like me, if you have fine textured hair or if you have a naturally greasy scalp, then you're not going to wanna use heavy serums or oils or leave-in butters to fight frizz, you're right? You're just gonna end up with greasy flat hair, especially if you use too much product when all you wanted to do was get rid of frizz. Now, if you have coarse hair and you can get away with heavier products, then obviously you can use those. But for me, I need to opt for the lightweight products. So I guess the takeaway tip from this is basically just to know your hair type before you buy and apply a product so you can get that desired result that you want, which is just to get rid of the frizz. Now, if you don't know what your hair type is, you can figure it out in my free app called Mannered Mains in the App Store and the Google Play Store. You can take a hair type quiz and you can also post a photo of your hair into the community and you can get feedback on what the best products for you are. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.